Welcome to Chemical Engineering World. Let's discuss the most debatable topic selection of pumps in process industry. So these are the topics we will discuss today. Many times we are searching how to select proper pumps such that it can be energy efficient with proper requirements of head and flow with appropriate fluid. So for the same we have tried to develop the content that can guide you for the same with practical considerations and without calculations. It's that simple. Firstly let's see what we will discuss today. Following are the points. Introduction. Selection criteria, in this topic we will discuss about major considerations of pump selections. Keys to pump selection. Critical points for pump selection. Pump selection based on practical experience. Checklist for pump selection. Flow and pressure requirements. Properties of fluid. Accuracy requirements. Classification of pump. Now let's start with. Introduction to pump selection. Pumps transfer liquids from one point to another by converting mechanical energy from a rotating impeller into pressure energy, head. The pressure applied to the liquid forces the fluid to flow at the required rate and to overcome friction, or head, losses in piping, valves, fittings, and process equipment. The pumping system designer must consider fluid properties, determine end use requirements, and understand environmental conditions. Pumping applications include constant or variable flow rate requirements, serving single or network loads, and consisting of open loops, non-return or liquid delivery, or closed loops, return systems. Now let's directly go for the selection criteria. Selection of pumps based on practical experience. As per practical experience, decision tree has been developed for the quick selection of right type of pumps for various types of fluids as per flow and pressure. All the leading designers, selecting engineers may use the following decision tree for selection of right type of pump without any problem. Decision tree can be made in three types which are listed below, based on pump service requirement. Follow the decision tree as per the arrows indicated in the figures. This decision tree can be used as a rough guideline for the selection of right type of pump by considering fluid viscosity, temperature, installation requirements and fluid chemical compatibility. Firstly we need to check the flow and pressure requirements of the pump. Flow is further bifurcated in three cases. 1. Fluid flow less than 3.8 lpm. 2. Fluid flow from 3.8 lpm to 75.7 lpm. 3. Fluid flow greater than 75.7 lpm. Further check the pressure requirement of this system. 1. Whether it's less than 30 sig. 2. Greater than 30 sig. Now we have prepared the decision tree for the easy work. For an example of fluid flow less than 3.8 lpm, then check the selection as per the decision tree case 1. Check the decision tree case 1. In which fluid flow less than 3.8 lpm, then check pressure. If system pressure is less than 30 sig, then further check the presence of the particular matter in the fluid. If the fluid contains particular matter and required pulsellus flow then we need to select progressing cavity pump and if pulsellus flow can adequate then we can select peristaltic pump, which usually used in pharmaceuticals. Same way if the fluid is not containing particulate matter then we have two different options gear pump and diaphragm pump. As show in diagram further the selection is based on the priming and accuracy, so this is the simplest way for the pump selection if the pressure is less than 30 sig. Same way for the fluid requirement with pressure greater than 30 sig, we can select the pump based on the particular matter and accuracy. Check the decision tree case 2, where the fluid flow is in between 3.8 lpm to 75.7 lpm. If system pressure is less than 30 sig, then further check the presence of the particular matter in the fluid. If the fluid contains particular matter and required pulsellus flow then we need to select progressing cavity pump and if pulsellus flow can adequate then we can select below diaphragm, double diaphragm or peristaltic pump. Same way if the fluid is not containing particulate matter then we have various options like centrifugal, gear, diaphragm, rotary vein etc. 
as shown in diagram further the selection is based on the priming and accuracy, so this is the simplest way for the pump selection if the pressure is less than 30 sig and flow in between 3.8 lpm to 75.7 lpm. Same way for the fluid requirement with pressure greater than 30 sig, we can select the pump based on the particular matter and accuracy as shown in the diagram. Similarly, if the flow of the fluid is greater than 75.7 lpm we can select the pump as per the decision tree. Further critical points for selection of pumps are Critical points for selection of pumps The following points are to be considered at the time of pump selection.